Having this true curiosity on the Randy Show. I had a friend who went through intense uh, balding when he was 18, 19. Okay, and he was going through a stressful time in life also. And I saw him be stressed until he jumped into this hair transplant solution. And he had a conversation with me where he made me sit down and he's like, bro, if ever you get a chance to talk about this problem on TRS, firstly, it's very common. Secondly, tell everyone to directly go for hair transplants. <laughs> Is that the correct medical advice? Um, no. So, uh, if you allow me, I'll, I'll brief you about the entire journey. Uh, what is the right approach for it? So, for a patient, uh, first thing is, I'll just quote something where people don't know what they can get uh, unless you show it to them by Steve Jobs. So, we have to evaluate the patient first. We have to plan the entire procedure. We have to explain the procedure, what the procedure is, how it works, who should be doing it, what you can expect. So, if I have to say first thing, assessment, evaluation of a patient. First, you have to consult a doctor, get it consulted, understand the problem. What is it? Hair thinning, whether it is baldness, whether it is a complete baldness or just hairline is receding. As per there are different scales like Norwood scale to grade the uh, baldness stage, mm -hmm. 1 to 7, whatever stage you are. What What's the difference between hairline receding and balding? So, it's like someone who's just balding from the front, someone who's balding from the crown, someone who's having a complete baldness. So it's completely different and we have to first evaluate what is the concern of the patient. Second would be in a transplant, I'll, I'll explain in detail, but in a transplant, we take follicles from the back of the scalp. That's a donor area. So we have to be very sure that the donor area is very healthy. Okay. If the donor is not healthy enough, we'll not be able to plan the procedure properly. We may just overcommit it and we may not be able to give justification. So we have to set realistic expectation to the patient. So evaluating the donor area is very important because I cannot use someone like your friend, I cannot use your donor in your friend. It is body will not accept it, it will reject it. So evaluation assessment is very, very important. Second step is planning where uh, we have to explain it to the patient that hair transplant is we are not just implanting hair follicles anywhere. It's a craft where we have to match with the face, we have to match with the age, set realistic expectations to the patient. There's an art attached yeah, to it. It's an, it's an art attached to it. Uh, there are a lot of skills required for this because you cannot have transplants in different angles growing here and there and not designing the hairline properly. In fact, we explain the patient, we take out some testimonials of our previous patients who are in a similar stage of baldness to give realistic expectations and tell them what they can achieve. There has to be very realistic. Last thing is hair transplant. Now, transplant, I'll, I'll take more time on this topic because this is something very simple. Scientifically, log logically, I'll explain it to you so that everyone understands on your thing. So, transplant, the, it's a two-part process. One is extraction, where we extract follicles from your body, that's your donor area, backside of the scalp, and implantation in the recipient area, wherever you're balding. Categori categorically, across the globe, hair transplant has two types, FUT and FUE. Hold on, I have to pause you because I speak for the people. Yeah, yeah, please. Doc, please, please. very openly, just from your experience, how much does this cost? Because that's the yeah. concern for a lot of people. So let's talk about sure. the cost at the start. And I know that the cost varies depending on follicles. Yeah, but so it's not. So that is a complete commercialization. To be frank enough, number of follicles as a patient, you'll never be able to count because it's like, 5,000, 8,000, 10,000. How are you going to count that follicles? It is just a commercialization way or maybe to charge accordingly. For us, what we charge at Ishwar Clinic is completely based on the experience of the doctor who's operating it. So here I'll tell you, across the globe, I find only where we are the ones where start to end a procedure is done by an MD doctor including myself, I prefer doing the procedure start to end. I don't like technicians. technicians where across the globe it is the major thing where in fact people who are making the guidelines, I'll not name anyone, but in India or globally, they have created a smart loophole in between where they've said that extraction can be done by a doctor because it's a small process, skillful for sure. And along with that, implantation can be done by a technician under a doctor's supervision. You tell me, Ranveer, supposedly, touch wood, you have beautiful hair and I don't see it losing very soon. But if you come to me and uh, uh, considering ki you are balding and you want a proce uh, procedure done, you come to me because of my credentials, my qualifications, my experience. You've researched about it and you've come to me. And when you come and I just say, ki, uh, Ranveer, I'll be planning, designing, and then some technician will do the job under my supervision. What's the point of my mm -hmm. credentials? No, no, it's a complete fair. waste. See, I, I don't think... 
you should think about the price when you're paying for an experienced md certified doctor right. uh but still doc yeah still i'll tell you the price that's not so depending on the requirement uh, our approach is different the number of sessions number of grafts whatever is required and what are the sessions required and who's operating you how complex is the case see every case is not that simple you'll see a lot of failed transplants done by bad to job done you have to correct the surgery you have to invest more time and effort more experienced surgeon would be required so we have different categories like 2 year 5 year 7 year 10 year senior surgeons with i sure with my, uh, myself doing those uh, cases and accordingly it may range from something from 2 lakhs to 10 lakhs for the procedure 2 to 10 lakhs is the range depending yeah. on the degree of De- depending on the experience of the doctor degree it's like there are three four category of doctors who are allowed to do like a dermatology or plastic surgeon no no i meant degree of hair loss yeah the grade of hair grade loss of hair what loss. are the sessions required like hairline may be covered in 2 days 3 days uh, full head may require 7 to 8 sessions with intervals in between but the most expensive that this procedure can go to is about 10 lakhs roughly Th- speaking that is what we charge there are doctors charging 50 lakhs also and there are what? clinics doing 50000 also 50 lakhs yeah yeah that's a wide range depending on what vip client you are treating and what vip service you are giving and still i'll tell you even a 50 lakh doctor where it's very common people know who those people are will not do the implantation will be done by a technician gold plated hair <laughs> why 50 lakhs and that too uh, which is supported with uh, medicines If you enjoyed this clip from the Ranveer show we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics so explore the channel because there's something for everyone